Hey guys, it's Holly here for PlayStation Access. I am at a Dark Souls 2 event in London where I am being taken inside the crypt where I'll be checking out the game and speaking to some of the producers. Now let's start with uh, how are you going to make this game kind of open to more people, get more people into the series, but still not lose what makes Dark Souls so amazing, which is of course that, that brutal difficulty. Right, well obviously we want to keep the difficulty and the challenging, ch challengingness as high as possible. Um, so again, the game's not going to get any easier, we're going to be just as mean to anybody, whether you're a hardcore fan or a newbie to the game. Um, but we've made sure that um, the difficulty doesn't come from how good you are at controlling the controller, um, how fast your reflexes are. But this, the difficulty comes from being able to be patient enough to continually um, try not to give up and try different strategies, try different tactics uh, as you take one step at a time. So I think the difficulty and the challenge will be there, but it will be open for everybody that tries the, the game as long as they're patient, courageous, and willing to try to take the next step, I think. Amazing. Right, so. Dark Souls was featured in Anna Londo, and obviously one of the th things the community did, which was amazing, was dissect that lore, pick it apart, and build this kind of beautiful picture of the world. But we're not in Anna Londo this time, so where is the game set? Well, um, the game is set in the same universe, but sort of, say, different continents, different parts of the world, I think. Um, the size of the world itself will be fairly similar to what Anna Londo was, um, but when I actually explored through the game, it almost seemed a little bit almost seemed a little bit bigger. Um, the world is actually called Drangleg. Um, and again, uh, it's set in different places, but core players or you know hardcore fans might be able to see some connections between the two wars. So hope players can look forward to that. So the hardcore community can uh, be looking out for the little hints of life in Anolondo. Yes. Amazing. So let's talk about the online function for Dark Souls. So you're going to be adding some new things and as well as improving on old, such as matchmaking will now be server-based from your side as right. opposed to hosted by the player. We have implemented a dedicated game server. Um, so hopefully the matching will be a little bit more efficient. Um, you will see a lot more signs on the ground. You'll see a lot more blood messages, um, a lot more ghosts. So uh, the matchmaking itself will be hopefully um, more frequent. Um, but at the same time, we have revisited how we match players up against each other. Um, again, we know there were, uh, for Dark Souls 1, we basically matched players up against um, each other based on levels. Um, I think it was about 10% plus minus in terms of who you match up against. We know that there were a lot of people who not necessarily cheated, but did enjoy sort of the invading part um, a little bit more. So we've modified that so that um, a lot more parameters are taken into consideration when we do the calculations for matching players up. So again, I hope that um, all players that play the game um, both cooperate and players who like to invade will have you know just as fun experience but also um, really enjoy the new sort of matching systems that we have implemented for Dark Souls 2. Covenants are of course back but this time they've also had a rework from the cooperative to the PvP side sure. so should we talk a little bit about those and what they'll be offering now that we haven't seen before? Well uh, in terms of the Covenants we have uh, revisited them and have enhanced them. Um, the main thing that we wanted to enhance with the Covenants is for the Covenants to have a bigger part in the role playing and how players really take on their roles uh, within the world itself. So I've introduced a couple Covenants um, in the past, um, like the Way of Blue, the Blue Sentinels, all those. Um, but again, we want players to really find themselves in the world. So obviously it's one goal to try and finish the game from start to end. But then the second goal, I think, is to really find your spot, you know, Decide whether or, not, whether or not you want to be a helper, whether or not you want to be sort of an invader, um, what you want to do in the world and really play that role out uh, within the Covenants. And hopefully that will um, increase the depth and have players immerse themselves even further into the Dark Souls 3 world. So when people are getting started now, there are some new character classes and some of the old ones have been slightly changed and adapted. Should we talk about what kind of experience new players and old players returning will have when they go to pick their, uh, their new character? Well, um, in terms of the new players, uh, there are the basics. There's the warrior, there's the knight, there's the magician. I think we've um, been able to enhance sort of the character classes so that um, you can more fit into the character that you've, that you've chosen. Um, hopefully the new motion uh, capture animations have brought the characters really to life so that you feel like you're actually controlling the characters and you, you, know, you can react to any, any different types of move, uh, movements that they do. So the basic character classes will be there. Um, for the more hardcore players, 
or players that want a challenge. Um, obviously, I've introduced the dual wielding before. Um, forget your shield, take two swords, <laughs> try to hack your way through the enemies. Um, that's another sort of more of an experience playstyle, but it's something that adds more excitement, I think, um, to the game itself. There are a couple more classes. Sorry, I'm not able to you know reveal them yet, but I think. Um, you know, we're less than two months away, so as soon as you pick up the game, hopefully you can try and experiment with the different classes that we imp implemented. Character customization and creation, mm -hmm. is that still in there, and has that put any changes to it? No, uh, it's definitely in there. Um, we have enhanced it in terms of, you know, different parameters. You know, you can put tattoos on yourself, you can change more facial um, changes to the characters themselves. You can actually see our face uh, within the game. Um, so you, hopefully players will be able to enjoy the character customization and how deep it has gotten uh, as compared to Dark Souls 1. Now, talking about the way your character looks, uh, being undead, it, it sounds horrific from, from what we've heard so far, but can you explain what being undead means in the game and how that affects not only the way you look, mm -hmm. but kind of how difficult it is to continue to progress through the game, especially as you keep dying? Sure. Um, <laughs> being undead is going to be, you know, a bad thing in Dark Souls 2. It was a bad thing in Dark Souls 1, but even more so in Dark Souls 2. First of all, visual appearance, you're gonna get uglier and uglier and uglier. You're gonna lose your hair, you know, you're gonna look like an undead the more times you die. Um, from a gameplay perspective, when you die consecutively as an undead, the maximum health will gradually decrease so that the game will become, um, I guess, more challenging, I think. <laughs> um, for Dark Souls 2, you will be invaded and as, a, as an undead as well. Um, so it's not really a safe zone to be playing as a hollowed. Um, but at the same time, I've mentioned this before, but I want new players to not be afraid. You know, um, I keep saying that even as an undead, you will be inv invaded, but not all the time. You know, the probabilities will be low. But I'm just warning players that even if you are under dead, you might be invaded. So. Okay, so you've been warned that you might be <laughs> invaded. Uh, and let's finish up with obviously the, the one thing that makes Dark Souls so challenging, which is of course the enemies. Now we've got loads of new enemies as well, but the AI's had a rework. So do you want to give some examples of how you guys have enhanced the AI to make the game way more in-depth and way more it's challenging? Um, in terms of the AI itself, we've improved it in that um, we've added more variations in terms of how the enemies will attack you. Um, and you will be surprised in terms of, you know, things that you couldn't do in Dark Souls 1. When you're up against enemies in Dark Souls 2, you know, they'll give you a good surprise. But at the same time, you know, we're being... Uh, the goal of the game is to make sure that players can try again and find a way to conquer. So we're not we're going to be fair to the players. Um, the enemies will spawn in the same places. You know, they'll, they'll play their same attack patterns generally, um, but they are a little bit smarter. Um, and so there's not any easy way to defeat any of the enemies. So hope players can um, be prepared um, in terms of what's up to come. Okay, and I think I'm going to finish off by asking you out of what you've been playing, because I imagine at Namco you've been playing a fair bit. Sure. What's been your favorite weapon that you've used so far? There's a lot of, lot of, <laughs> lot of new weapons that have been implemented, but I like the big, fat, long swords that you can just, you know, powerhouse wear through. So I'm not the smartest player. Um, Attack is the best defense. <laughs> exactly, that's what I like to think. And um, yeah, I I try not to give up. I just try to break as many things as possible in the game. So that's a play style. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask you to do the same thing. There you go. That's the best advice you can get from Namco <laughs> Bandai. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah. Dark Souls 2 is looking fantastic, awesome. and you guys will be able to play it in March. So I hope you're all looking forward and uh, getting ready to uh, be nice and patient. Yes. And take on some of the amazing bosses that you guys have got lined up. Thank you. Very Try not much. to give up. Thanks.